In this video, we're going to continue exploring um, different ways to view a gallery, and I'm still using a picture box. However, this time I'm going to add a thumb sheet. Uh, I'm going to add a thumb sheet so that we could add different thumbnails. If we wanted to click on a thumbnail below our picture box, it will display the contents of that thumbnail in the main picture box window. I only have three different layers set up here in Photoshop. I've got a picture box layer, which is the main area in which I want to display the main image. I have a, uh, a thumb sheet set up, which this is going to be invisible once we go online. This is just going to tell SiteGrinder the area where I want to put my thumbnails. And it's okay if we have multiple thumbnails. Uh, it will just grow outside of that and go down, and it will just push our footer design down. And then I also have a main gallery thumb. So let's take a look and see how this uh, turns out once we go online. And the first time you can see it, uh, it may not have behaved exactly like you expected. So we're just going to play around with a few of the settings and uh, see how we can um, change the look of how that, uh, that whole thumb sheet's looking there. So let's click on the CSS image thumbs here. And let's change that to, uh, let's just look at a couple of different. Uh, aspects and just see how this changes the the view here so that's the CSS image thumbs here's the flash that doesn't look too bad you can see that it's actually scrolling left and right now if I've got more uh, thumbs okay um, generic CSS, it's giving us numbers, and, uh, and then our generic image CSS, which uh, I don't really want to go that direction. So let's just go back to um, go back to our page CSS image thumbs, and let's just play around with a few of these settings. I don't want to really do anything on hover, but uh, and you can go through and, and play around with a lot of these different settings, but uh, I may not like that blue color, so let's get rid of that hover background color. Let's go with something kind of more light. I'm going to go with a light gray. Let's just apply that. That already looks to me a lot better. And um, Let's see if we can do something to our horizontal space between the uh, images. So instead of uh, 5, let's try 25 and just see if we can space out these images. Which that looks like that's way too much. That actually uh, spaced out the, um, the entire thumbnail. So uh, let's grab this one instead. And that actually already looks a lot better. Let's try 30. See if we can really space these out. It's looking better already. That looks like that was too much. So um, okay. So again if I click on it you can see that it's going to put that image up above into our uh, picture box and so um, that's looking pretty good and uh, if we close that we can actually go back to our actual picture box we have a few different options of how we want to display that um, yeah we do want to fill it I don't want to inset it um, when clicked if we wanted to even make it bigger we could always do a big box I don't mind it necessarily right now just going on advance to the next image on a click that's that's pretty good we can have it started a random image if we wanted to do that and of course uh, disable them uh, the ability to click on the image so they can't save that so uh, that's looking pretty good so far and uh, of course we would upload all of our images in the content manager so uh, we're just using some stock thumbnails for now so uh, join us back and uh, we'll start to add a few more elements to that show you how we can add a previous and next button.